In this video, we're going to explain the interactions of people, process, technology, and data, and help you understand why it's important to have this big picture view as you prepare to do analytics. Okay, so you have a process that people are trying to maintain within systems. How well this is done dictates the quality of the data that you can use for analytics. And don't forget, data is the raw material that is used in the production of insights. So paying attention to data quality at all aspects and everything that would support good quality data is a very important thing to do. And that's why we want to step back and understand what we have in terms of people, process, technology, and data to help support decision making. Okay, so let's take a look at a very simple business process here. Let's consider payroll. So ultimately, the organization, let's use our organization for example, want to do payroll. We want to pay our people. We like to pay our people properly. We like to pay our people on time. And we also want to invoice. So we like to invoice our clients on time and we like to invoice them accurately. Okay, so those are the two downstream business processes that we care about. So what are the upstream business processes that we need to care about that are going to support timely and accurate payroll and invoicing? And those are things like time tracking. So really what we want to try and do here is make sure we understand the needs of data consumers and data producers. And sometimes you're both. There's times where even myself, I produce data and I consume data. So I enter my time into time sheets so I understand where I'm spending my time. I also then use that information to go ahead and say, well, where am I spending my time? Are there things I could be doing better myself? Can I optimize and automate some of the things I'm doing? All right, so that's very important to understand is data producers can often be data consumers as well, and understanding the interactions of them is important. On this business process here, let's first consider the technology that exists in the middle here. So whether this is an Excel spreadsheet or is a multi-million dollar ERP, usually you have some type of technology in the middle that is helping to support the gathering and quality data that you need to support those processes. So we have technology in the middle. Okay, so then at the far left-hand side, we have our data producers. So we have people in the form of our employees that are going to enter data into the technology to support timesheets. So they have some type of business process that we expect them to go through so they can enter that data into whatever technology we decide to provide and ensure that it is timely and accurate. So once again, be it an Excel spreadsheet, a power app into some other system, or a more formal system, we want to make sure that we have tight understanding of all those different processes and that people are doing things properly. If we do this and people understand the processes, they follow the process and the quality of data is high in our technology, we're really starting to set ourselves up for optimization and automation of a process. If we start violating these processes and things break down, that's where manual intervention needs to happen and that's where then the ability to automate starts to erode itself. Okay, so after they've gone through that process, we of course end up with data inside the technology. Then we want to start taking a look at the data consumer point of view. Okay, so let's put those people on the far right hand side here. So this is you know, processes like doing payroll as we get ready to pay the employees and pay them on time and accurately. And as we get ready to invoice our clients. And what about things in the middle of the month? Maybe we want to understand how well we're progressing to our targets. Are we doing what we thought? Did we get some additional business? Has some business dropped off? Having access to this timely and accurate data will pay dividends as we're trying to understand how well our business is performing. So you can see from left to right, you know, people having processes and being able to follow those processes, entering data into the technology and making sure the technology is supporting quality data and things like that. Then support the data consumers on the far right hand side there, they're gonna make business decisions and you know, ultimately in this case, give payroll out and invoicing out, if we maintain our people process and technology and have good standards around this stuff, we have good quality data and that's going to support optimization, automation, or automation, which is ultimately one of the goals we want to strive for. Okay, so hopefully this video was uh, good enough to give you a high level view of understanding how these interactions come together, why they're important, because ultimately in analytics, we're trying to measure and optimize a business process. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, go to iterationinsights.com.